Today we pick up our Bible study in Revelation chapter 16, verses 8 and 9. Revelation chapter 16, verses 8 and 9, quoting from the New King James Version, declares, Then the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and power was given to him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat, and they blasphemed the name of God who has power over these plagues. And they did not repent and give him glory. The wrath of God in the fourth bowl is that the sun became so hot that it scorched man, as we learn in Revelation chapter 16, verse 8. But the reaction of man is the focus of this passage as he did not repent, but blasphemed God. As we learn in Revelation chapter 16, verse 9, man refuses to repent and seek God's forgiveness and salvation from such tribulation. This is reflective of the heart of Pharaoh as the signs given him in Exodus chapters 5 through 12 leading up to the Passover were intended to allow Pharaoh to see the power of the Almighty God and give him glory. But his heart was hardened and he refused. This is the pouring out of the fourth bowl of God's wrath on the earth. As the wrath of God is being revealed to us in the book of Revelation, of the revelation of Jesus Christ, we are beginning to connect the dots to understanding the signs that God is giving us today. People are dying from starvation. People are dying from dehydration. And people are being scorched by the sun to death. These are realities here on earth today, but one day they will become greater and greater to the point that they will be unbearable to death. God is calling out to us. Maybe he is calling out to you today to repent, to change the direction you're going to the direction in life that he has laid out for you. Put your trust in Jesus today and profess him your Lord and Savior. He will save you from all your sins that you have ever committed and give you a new life, filling you with his Holy Spirit and the joy that only comes from trusting in Jesus. Dear Lord, you are showing us today signs of your wrath to come. You're calling it out to our hearts to find a better way than that which we are caught up in in the ways of this world. You're calling us to salvation in your one and only Son, Christ Jesus, whom you sent as yourself in human form to save the world from sin. As we know from John chapter 1, verse 29, and John chapter 3, verse 16. Please speak to our hearts today and lead us to open our hearts to the new life that you have for us in Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.